Jay's on my feet. Jay's on my feet. Jay's on my feet. So if we haven't been in birthday mode before, we officially are now. It's like T minus four days till her actual birthday and then five days until her celebration. So I'm trying to compose myself. I'm like really bad at planning because I get started on one thing and then I get so sidetracked that I like start doing another and then things get like partially done and not all the way done. I'm so, so bad at that. I think my finger has been covering the mic. Whoops. Um, so I get like things partially done and I just need to get everything fully done I need it to now because like at first I was like okay we're gonna get all the decorations I'm gonna buy all the stuff for that get all that done um, and that is going to be done today so now I need to move on to the next thing which is all food so I need to now make a list and go get everything for the food like the um, oh, I need to give my brother those cookie cutters crap I forgot okay so I have to do that I have to go you know, buy stuff for the cake, which I'm really excited to make you guys. Here, I'm going to show you the picture. I've got it on my Pinterest. So I need to um, get the fondant for the cake, if that's how you say it. I feel like everyone says that word differently. Um, I need to get that for the cake. I need to get, um, like, the white chocolate meltable stuff for the cake also. I need to get... I have all the, like the plates and the silverware and stuff like that. I need to get stuff for the cake shooters that I'm going to do. I need to get, um, let's see what else. I don't even know. I need to look at my list. I have the um, list in another place. Do, 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 do. Here we go. <laughs> that is the cake that I am going to be doing for Lacey Lou. Um, I'm not going to be putting the Ariel little figurine on it so I'm just going to either do like a one or put an L or something like that because it's not really a little mermaid birthday it's just kind of like an under the sea so my hair is so flat you guys it's like really like getting greasy but since I just bleached it I'm like resisting the urge to wash it until like the night before Lacey's birthday I'm not even kidding I know that's really disgusting but like you strip all the natural oils out of your hair. A lot of people ask me how I keep my hair so healthy, like after I bleach it and you know, stuff like that. And I really, first of all, my hair is really resilient. It can take bleach and it lifts really easily. The other thing is too, is that my hair naturally just, it doesn't get damaged very easily. So there's that in my favor as well. But honestly, I really don't wash my hair very often. Dry shampoo is like my best friend. And I probably wash my hair only like twice a week. So I know that's like kind of gross, but those natural oils are so good for your hair. And I know they can be like ugly looking. So if you put some dry shampoo on, that takes that away. Um, but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll wear my hair, you know, with some dry shampoo or whatever, like second or third day, I'll wear it down. And then, you know, sometimes I can stretch it four days. And if I do, then the next day I'll wear it up. Um, but honestly, like my biggest secret is just that I don't wash my hair very much. And today, I really, like I said, I'm fighting the urge to wash it. But my hair is like so flat. I'm like, ugh, I need some life into my hair so badly. And the dry shampoo like isn't even doing anything anymore. So, so I'm on Amazon looking at new studio lighting because mine obviously bit the dust the other day as you guys saw. So I'm like really kind of tripping out right now because I can't film at all for my main channel until I get some kind of studio lighting. Um, so I'm looking on Amazon right now at like some options. I think I want to do soft box lighting. I was texting Meg after it happened and I was like, okay, emergency. I was like, what lighting do you use? And I told her what happened and she said that she uses a ring light and soft box. So, um, I think I want something like this that, you know, has the two big soft boxes and then one for the overhead lighting. Um, I just really can't film without the lighting because unfortunately, um, we don't have very good natural daylighting or at least not good enough for videos in the place that I film. So it's absolutely a must for me. I've had these before and they suck to be honest with you. They don't do anything for me and maybe I just wasn't using them right or maybe 
they need to be used along with some other lighting, but I just, I did not care for that at all. So I know I'm not going to go that route for sure. Oh boy, but this is like expensive and I was totally not planning on having to get something like this. So that just really sucks. I don't know. I need to read some reviews and see what people have to say about all these different lights. Guess where we are going? We're going to Sprouts. <laughs> I feel like we're going there all the time. And I thought I was in reverse, but I'm in neutral. Um, <laughs> so we are going to Sprouts. I have a few things to get. Just like food for us. Um, and then also I have like no food for lunch. So I am going to get some lunch at Sprouts. Look who got a sticker. Lacey, look at mama. Look at mommy. Oh, you want to look at yourself? <laughs> Lacey. Look, show your sticker. Is that so cool? We just got done at Sprouts and they were handing out stickers to all the kids. Look, let's see it. It says we're sprouting or I'm sprouting at Sprouts or something. I don't know. She was really excited about it a minute ago until she started looking at herself. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy's putting you on blast. My garage door opener isn't working. That really sucks. What do you have, Missy? She's wearing her sticker still. I got her these little um, snack bars from Sprouts and I, she's still not doing like full, like I'm not gonna give her a big old snack thingy. Um, so I still broke it up for her. And she seems very excited. Is it yummy? And we're trying to limit her word world per day. So she's getting to watch her one episode today with her little snack. So I hope you enjoy it, miss, because we're starting to get in too much of a TV habit. Oh. Yeah. Is that snack good? Okay, I'll turn it on. So here's the progress on her little poster board. I'm almost done. I just have the right column to fill in. I'm so bummed though. Like there's a few spots that I just didn't plan out the letters very good. Like right here, it went over and then there was one other spot. Oh yeah, right here. I mean, I guess it's not terrible, but I don't know. The perfectionist in me is kind of pissed. So yeah, I just have the right column, but I forgot I was going to show you guys. Um, I was watching April and Justin's vlogs, and they just had Liam's birthday party, and I saw that she got some little water bottle um, like labels from Shindigs, 
Uh, it's a website online. If you guys aren't familiar with it, I'll have a link down below. But I ordered some water bottle um, labels for Lacey's Party too, And these are the ones that I got. And they turned out so cute. This is... Um, the kind of background that we had for Lacey's, uh, why am I not drawing a blank? Um, her invites, I'm sorry, my brain's like mush right now. Um, so it's the same kind of idea as, uh, the invites we had for her, but it's just all the little sea creatures and it says Lacey's ocean water and we're going to put that all on a bunch of water bottles, but they turned out really good. They're really good quality too. This, um, whatever they're printed on seems really like waterproof and durable. So I was really excited about those. The only person in the world I know that takes time to do surveys. Yes. You know, that's a risky play. Well, it's yes. always a risky play. Not as risky with Salvador Perez because he's so accurate. But watching that back again. Yes. To get to third base on that play, he has to run a long way. He has to run hard, which would be more difficult for him to be under control. Now he read right away. That's it. So it's the same thing Dan of like. Dan is pro taking phone service. This I, I'm, guy. I'm pro helping anyone that has a job trying to do something. Even if it's like giving out samples at Sam's Club, I'll take as many samples as you have. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, you're the kindest person I know. Because he was sitting there like, yes, somewhat helpful, always, <laughs> most of the time, probably a ten. <laughs> well, it's like at my job, I don't want people to turn me down all the time, so I just want to help them out. But you're such a nice person. Anyway, look at this. <laughs> Take it out the package. <laughs> it looks funny in there. We got this, um... Ooh, it's soft. Is it? Oh, that's really soft. She's gonna love that. We got this, um, package from Lacey's uncle, which is Brock's best friend from, like, his entire life ever. Um, Brandon, I don't know if he's been in a vlog yet, but if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen pictures of him, but he sent her a little package for her birthday, and this I just thought that one. was so silly. This is the best one. That, this is what I mean with silly, not that he sent, you're like out of frame now. <laughs> Rockabye Baby Lullaby Renditions of Jay-Z. <laughs> that is so, like, just typical of him. I don't even know how he would have found that. Yeah, but that either. is so funny. It's probably because Jay-Z did it. And then there's some, you know, some books. and Oh my gosh, she's going to love these. I thought it was really funny, though, because we opened it up, and then there was like four different things that says, you've got a gift from Uncle Brandon. <laughs> yeah, there's like a <laughs> It's like, Uncle Brandon, Uncle Brandon, Uncle Brandon, <laughs> Uncle Brandon. I can't wait to show her this. We probably should have opened it with her because it was like titled to her, the package. But like, you know. Woof, woof. Oh my gosh, she's going to love this one. She loves dogs. Oh, this is so cute. I love this little thing. I don't know if he watches these vlogs, but Brandon, if you're watching, thank you so much for this. Lacey is going to love these. This is called the Big Pumpkin for babies six months and up. <laughs> Yields approximately 32 t tablespoons. <laughs> Ingredients. One small cooking pumpkin, sweet pie, or butternut squash, peeled, <laughs> seeds removed, and diced. One gala apple, peeled, cored, diced. I don't know. <laughs> it's a baby co cocktail. That's funny. That is really funny. And this is apparently the Cancun Chihuahua. She's going to love this because we all know how much she loves dogs. I've seen these everywhere, and I've wanted to get her one. Oh, it tells, look, it tells their birthday. I forgot that Beanie Babies did that. Oh, I thought you took that thing off. This little chihuahua was born on April 30th, and it says, I'm a cute little chihuahua that loves the sun, and my fabulous colors are lots of fun. <laughs> do you do you take that tag off? Yeah, I mean, for her, we so will. she doesn't choke If you're, it? like, collecting these, most people leave the tags on, but... You know, I don't really know if anyone collects them anymore. It's more just for like toys. She's gonna I love the eyes. Alright guys, I finally got this finished up. 
and I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. There are a few things that if I was to do it again, I'd do different, but I'd say it turned out pretty good for my first time doing something like this. I'm really excited to have this finally done and under my belt. That was probably the biggest project out of all of them, to be honest with you.